On this rainy day, hundreds of thousands of sailors are happy to be home with their loved ones again. They returned to Naval Station Norfolk this afternoon aboard USS Harry S. Truman. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin was pierside for the homecoming. Nearly 5,000 sailors came back to Naval Station Norfolk with masks on for a bit of a different homecoming. Through the wind and rain, USS Harry S. Truman slowly made its way into a pier at Naval Station Norfolk. It's uh, my favorite day in the Navy. It's coming home day. It's a happy day with an unorthodox reunion. Instead of loved ones greeting sailors at the gate, they waited inside cars. This comes on the heels of an unusual deployment. The ship's leaders say the coronavirus pandemic caused the ship to stay in the Western Atlantic two extra months. Sailors continue training while waiting. Uh, so I'd say our nation and our taxpayers have certainly gotten their money's worth out of Harry S. Truman. Because no one on the ship had a confirmed case of coronavirus and the ship didn't make port stops after February, sailors got to walk to the pier as soon as it docked. The battle group, not just the carrier and the air wing, but all of the battle group stayed COVID free and remained COVID free as a ready asset for our nation. The Truman is the last ship in its strike group to return to Naval Station Norfolk. While at sea, the crews helped support global security around the world in the second, fifth and sixth fleet of operations. The Truman even responding to international tension. Later, an unarmed Iranian drone flew directly over the Truman in January in the Persian Gulf. On the maritime side, uh, th the response stayed very muted. Uh, I think we're very successful with that. This deployment began with defending the country overseas and ended with the military members waiting close to home, knowing loved ones had to manage an ongoing pandemic. Megan Shen, 13 News Now.